First off, I'd like to thank the FAT conference team for giving me this great chance, for this great opportunity to be part of such a magnificent and challenging event. And I truly hope that the result of our collaboration leaves a positive, constructive impact towards the progress of medical awareness in our society. Let me introduce myself. My name is Abdullah Fatih Rablan. I am a teaching assistant in my chemistry department at Faculty of Pharmacy at the Egyptian National University. As you see, our title is Evaluation of Integrin Alpha B Beta 3 as a novel biomarker and vitronectin for the early diagnosis of breast cancer. So let's start with a question. Why are we choosing breast cancer? The first reason is breast cancer is considered the most common invasive cancer that affects women <coughs> worldwide. Secondly, the current available approach for the early detection of breast cancer is cancer antigen 15.3 and mammography. But both have several limitations and poor diagnostic accuracy. So there is an urgent need to investigate other biomarkers or procedures that could help in picking up early breast cancer patients. Regarding the incidence of new cases of breast cancer in females, it occupied the top rank, accounting for 26% of all cancers in the United States. Besides, in Egypt, breast cancer is the most frequent cancer, accounted for 32% of all cancers. Concerning the classification of breast cancer, it divides breast cancer into many categories according to different criteria and serve a different purpose. But commonly, it may be classified based on origin like ductal breast cancer and lobular breast cancer, which are the most common types, or classified based on hormones or genes like luminal A and DF, estrogen receptors and progesterone receptors are positive. As a rise, it could be named based on like if it is triple negative. Referring to the cancer system cells, which are the leading cause of cancer recurrence, depending on the extracellular matrix that includes many important factors and ligands, such as, for instance, collagen or laminin, fibronectin, and the tronectin, all contributing to both the tissue homeostasis and tumor initiation. But what actually is extremely interesting that researchers recently have identified the main responsible receptor for breast cancer initiation by blocking of all receptors and then they start to unlock receptor by receptor until they found the main responsible one which is integrin while combining with vetronectin. So, what is vitronectin? It's a multi-domain glycoprotein that consists of 459 amino acid residues found in both the extracellular matrix and plasma, and it's involved in regulation of many physiological functions like cell adhesion, spreading, and migration. And the reason behind making all of these actions is the unique structure of vitronectin and precisely its unique domains like somatomidine B domain that interacts with urokinase receptor that has been implicated in cell migration and spreading and signal transduction. Also, it contains RGD region, which is the binding site with integrin that has been implicated in signal transduction also and cell migration and spreading. Now time to know about integrins. They are heterodimers transmembrane receptors. They have alpha and beta subunits that are generating 24 heterodimers. They activate intracellular signaling pathways to promote cell adhesion, growth, apoptosis, and division, etc. But noticeably, a wide variety of integrants have been shown to contribute to tumor progression, but integrin alpha V beta 3 is highly expressed on some tumors such as breast cancer. The aim of the work 
is to explore whether vetronectin or integrin alpha V in the three alone or in combination with the conventional breast cancer, breast cancer biomarker CA15.3 could be used as a new biomarker panel to recognize cancer cells with high sensitivity and high specificity for the early detection of breast cancer. Regarding the patients, this study has been performed, has been performed, has been performed, I'm sorry, has been, has been performed on 90 adult females classified into three groups. Group one, composed of 50 newly diagnosed breast cancer patients with a stage one and two. They didn't receive any chemotherapy, radiotherapy, and they were subjected to surgical resection of the tumor. Group two, composed of 20 patients diagnosed with benign fibroadenoma lesions, and eventually group 3 composed of 20 healthy volunteers were included as normal controls, all with match matching ages. The methods that use the methods are enzyme linked immunosorbent assay for vitronectin, integrin alpha V beta 3, and CA15 15.3, and histopathologic evaluation for tumor grading, staging, and receptor study. The results, starting with the descriptive statistics of the studied tumor markers in the different studied groups, here, vitronectin and integral alpha V beta 3 has a higher significance than those in both control and benign group with p value less than 0.001. However, CA15.3 has a higher significance in the malignant group than those in both control and malignant group, in control and benign group, but with p value equal to 0.007. This table reveals the association between the studied markers and the patient's characteristics, which are considered well established prognostic factors in breast cancers and the main effects the prognostic strategy and the treatment strategy. There are a significant association between integrin alpha V, beta 3, and vetronectin with the clinical pathological parameters or some of patient's characteristics like tumor size, tumor grade, stage, and lymph node status. On the other hand, there is no association at all between CA15.3 and all clinical pathological parameters. Regarding the diagnostic accuracy of the studied markers, CA15.3 has shown a sensitivity of 65% and a specificity of 62% at a total value equal to 21.07, while the tronectin has showed a 67% and a 68% regarding the sensitivity and specificity at a total value equal to 50.37. Whereas integrin alpha V beta 3 has shown a sensitivity of 70% and a specificity of 68% at a cutoff value equal to 5.02. Furthermore, the combination between the studied markers have showed a sensitivity of 75% and a specificity of 73%, which is the highest sensitivity and specificity. Subject, suggesting a panel of a good diagnostic performance. Finally, the results observed a significant positive correlation between integral alpha V beta 3 and vetronectin, with the Spearman's row equal to 0.758, which is a strong positive correlation. In conclusion, as far as we know, this is the first study to assay integral alpha V beta 3 as a promising biomarker alone or in combination with vetronectin and conventional biomarker CA15.3 for screening and diagnosis of the early stage breast cancer patients. Any questions? Many thanks.